Anchetta's gonna start things off here in and set number two. For the Seville HK Spikers, number four, Charisse. Parang na deja vu tayo no sa Petron game of last Monday. First set they also led and then and then they folded. The Signal HD Spikers. Let's see kung tuloy tuloy yan. You know, Signal is not a team you want to mess with. Oh yeah. Dahil itong kupon na Signal. We talked about it. They also have momentum coming into this game. Finally, after picking up their first win. Service error. Let's check in with Apple. Anthony and Chiki, there is no sign of panic or anything. Sa side ng Petron after dropping the first set. Ang sabi ni Coach George, eight service errors. Yun lang ang problema. And then he tells his players, kung hindi sigurado, huwag nang kargahan yung service. Ang importante, ipasok nyo na lang. Balik sa inyo, guys. Yeah, alam mo kasi ang service talaga, easy way to earn a point and easiest way to give away a point. Now you can see some of the smiles that were on the faces of the Petron girls a while ago. Na wala na mukha ngayon tina mo seriosong seriosong sila. Ayon na nila siguro mag five sets. So they mean business. Let's see what they're gonna do the second set. Nepomuseno tries to send that down. She's dug. Boy, floor defense by both these squads. Really excellent. You know, that's the reason why every time you're waiting for the ball to go to your side of the net, kailangan na down ka, so it's easier to move like this. Manabat hits the ball, uh, deflected by the blockers, kaya lang late si uh, Navarro. This ultra fast spike is brought to you by PLDT Home Ultera, the ultra fast LTE for a happy family. 3 1, Petron Lamang. But remember, they were up. Also, early in set number one, nice put down. See, see, Panaga. She was she's a right-handed person. Eh, kaya lang yung set was a little bit too wide or too long for her. She made the necessary adjustments and earned the point for signal. Good serve there by Panaga. And you know, that hit by Manabat was an error on her part, but ang lakas ng fingers niya, it still became a power tip at hindi nasagot ng signal. And now she will be the serving chores. Kung atake man siya, magagaling siya sa likuran. And they have gone to her more than a few times. Mistake that time? Yeah, miscommunication there. At nakatayo na si Coach Sammy saying, communicate. At importante, hindi pwedeng palamangin yung kalaban ng napakalaki. Yes. So, since three points pa lang naman ang lamang, medyo pwede pa yan. But this has to stop. And what about the service errors naman doon sa kabilang panic? That also has to stop para sa Petron. That's right. Kung gusto nila manalo. Oh nga eh, kasi kanina, an eight nga, eight service errors in the first set and now, nakaka-two na yata sila, no, if I'm not mistaken. And after that report of Apple, yeah. talking about Coach George pleading with his players to just get that ball in. Tunay finds the scene again. Napakaraming beses niya na nagawa yun. May angas pa siya this time, you know? Tinuro pa niya where the ball landed. You know, I have to commend Jack Janela with her good digs. Look at this. A good drop there. Walang tao. Jack Janela has really helped out her team here. Sa oh. araw na to. Well, yeah. so has Jen Reyes. And you know, see Jack Janela. Alam mo what she's afraid of? You'll never believe it. What? Getting hit by the ball on the face. That's why she's really active now because she doesn't want to get hit Survey on the face. She's doing a good job, right? Francis, well, that's, uh, that's really a surprise yeah. to me because, alam mo, siya yung sumasangga ng lahat eh. Correct. The ah, chances oh. and the probability of her getting hit in the face is maybe 500 times more yeah. than any other player on the floor. Right. Kaya ang galing nito mag <laughs> Is it out of fear? Oh my. <laughs> Watch this thunder block. Bang. 
Thunderblock brought to you by Photon. Empower your business. You know, and sabi nga ni dito sa Signal, they really studied Petron. They really watched the plays of Petron and prepared for Petron. And it shows. Yes, it is showing here. But that time, off the block, Marano once again scores. Maganda yung gising ni Abby Marano sa araw na to. Oh, Napakarami na niyang puntos. Palaban siya ngayon. Well, that's also expected. Dahil yung diba yung double-trouble na pinakita natin sa kanila. To start out this match. The team captain is back in the fray. The outside, Dakis. What a save! That's kept alive, but... Oh wow! Rachel and Dakis. Yun ang masama para dito sa kapanan ng signal. Free ball eh, hindi pa nila ipasok. Oo nga. But what a performance ha. That was a really good save. A power hit there by Dakis. Saved, dug well by Janela. Kaya lang na-excite si Navarro. She didn't expect that that ball was gonna stay alive. Micah Morada with a serve once again. That time, Janela not with a good reception. Chance here for Petron to score once again. Marano asks for it. Doesn't get a good set, but nonetheless will score. You know, zone six is really the killer zone. Usually, dyan namamatay yung bola. Nangi goes in. Navarro takes a rest for a bit. But you have to hand it to Marano. Nag-adjust siya dun sa set ni AC. AC Masangkay and still earned the point for Petron. Morada serving very well. Free ball coming up. Hiningini naman ni Abby Marano binigay sa kanya. A good uh, try there. Good try by Jack Janela. Nataas nga niya yung bola kaya lang napunta sa atin. <laughs> yung bola. Umiiwas na nga ako rito sa ating bola. Kung sakaling subukan pa nalang buhayin. I'll protect you. Oh, ba? Diba? <laughs> Pero ang problema yun, may net violation na daw. Even before that, Morada scoring once again. Actually serving once again. A chance here. They go the other side and Dakis runs out of space. Good read there by Mervic Mangi. At the last moment, she stopped herself from getting that ball, which went wide. And serving number two, Lourdes Clemente. Clemente with the serve. Her team down by five. Reyes thought about whether to keep that in. Yeah. And she comes up with an error. You go right back to her, and she scores a point. Yes, one of the go-to players of Petron. Let's look at this again. A good hit there by Dakis. Nakita niya yung blockers eh. Ang forma nila was for cross-court. So, dinown the line niya. Let's check in with Apple. Sa performance ay pinapakita nga ni Rachel and Dakis. Walang mag-aakalang galing ito sa sakit. In fact, hindi siya nag-practice kahapon. Magbig na siya matrangkaso. Puti na nga lang daw hindi na tuloy. Si coach nga ang gusto. Limited minutes of play lang siya. Pero the professional player Dakis is mukhang ayaw niyang matahimik lang sa game na ito. Balik sa inyo. Wow, she was sick. She, it doesn't seem like, I don't know, Miss Hitchcock. That's right. Let's see if they can make that adjustment. They're now down by seven. Janela, much better reception. But Panaga was going to be blocked, but that goes outside. Point para kay Panaga at ng signal. Kung si Panaga, if you notice the way she hits the ball, talagang all-out power. Well, in their last game, when they picked up a win, we talked about her during that pregame. Yes. She is one of their main weapons. From the back, they go to Tunay. Tunay sends that long. And Coach Sammy, no? now, first sa timeout, nagalit siya. But then he ended up with encouraging the team because he knows that if you stress them out, they won't be able to perform. And they need to be able to perform a little bit stronger here. Another mistake on serve. 
you know, I know Petro knows about their service errors, but they really have to do something about that. You know, a lot of times that becomes psychological already. Lahal napakarami, tapos yun din yung pinag-usapan ng coach during the the break in between sets. Yeah. You know, you know you want to be able to do it. The mind is willing sometimes, pero hindi mo lang maipasok eh. Oo nga. Kaya nga kailangan you have to be strong in yes. your mindset. Nice serve there by Ancheta. Nice setup as well. Good save by Signal. Wow, that was a whiff. And they still score a point. Yeah, ito na naman parang nagkamali ulit si Manabat, but yun nga sa lakas ng fingers nito. Look at this. Parang tip lang talaga ng fingers niya tumama sa bola. But it, it still came out powerful. Natawa nga siya eh. <laughs> Na-fake lahat, pati kakampi niya. Oo. <laughs> Pero puntos naman daw eh. Kaya okay lang. They go outside. Nepo Musiano goes cross court. Ang sabi nga nung husband daw ni ano, din din sa kanya, in every game, there has to be an improvement. Man, you know what? That's a good uh, play there by Tunay. Nung una, nag she hit the ball from the back line, nag outside. So ngayon, hininaan niya, targeted zone six, yun yung butas, as you, we see here. Nobody was there. Jen was late. Now you've got Panaga to serve. Services. Look at this, it's a rally here being staged by Signal. Yeah, kanina, wasn't it 7-14, right? And then now, it's 15, uh, 11 serving 15. Ito na naman yung kanilang service receptions. Ooh. And the mistake from Panaga will stop their rally cold. Or is it going to be shades of last Monday? Where they lost the first two sets. Not a good reception by Tunay. Chance now. Another one. And Morada, the team captain, will score. That is a smart move by Morada. Nakita niya, mas maliit si Mangi than Clemente. So, dun niya pinadaan yung bola. Off the block point for Petron. Kanina before the game, nagdolokohan si Nepomuceno, Maricar Nepomuceno, and Din Din Manabat because they both came from and you, sabi ni din din uh, three sets na kayo. And then sabi ni na po mo siya hindi, iba block kita. <laughs> Baka sabi niya, yeah, three sets nga, pero kami yung mananalo. Oo. <laughs> Di ba? <laughs> Pwede rin. That's a good rally we're seeing. Joust at the net. Janela setting up Mangi. That's kept alive. Chance once again for Signal. Can they score? Back set. Works. And now they're really, really happy because at the rate that they're going, talaga namang they're working as a team. Take a look at this ultra fast spike brought to you by PLDT Home Ultera. The ultra fast LTE for a happy family. And Signal is a happy family right now. Exactly. After winning that first set, and right now they're staging a rally, though they are still down by five. The team captain squeezes that through. Morada scores again. Six point lead opened up. Here is Molina. And serving for the Petron Lace Bikers, number seven, Francis Molina. It's a good floater serve there by Molina. And she will pick Service. up an ace. Navarro getting ready to check Final back in here. Francis Molina still serving for Petron. See Francis who's supposed to have migrated already to, if I'm not mistaken, London. They lang chose volleyball first. Eh, okay din naman because she's doing a good job. So London can wait and we were talking about the good job of Petron that time. Miscommunication ng Umiral. Miscommunication there. Kailangan talaga itatawag na lang ng setter yung pangalan kung kanino niya ibibigay yung bola. Four out, one in. 
Picar has gone in. So, pahinga muna si Chang and Cheta. Picar is the center of Arellano University. You know, I asked her if she gets nervous whenever she's brought in. Hindi daw. She's just excited. Well, all these players are just dying to be able to play. Uh -oh. You know, you've been on the bench. You want to be able to come in and contribute when you possibly can. Yeah. Dakis pushes that through. And now there was a touch called by the referee. So point goes to Petron. Check ball. Call again. Signal AC Spikers. Serving. Number 13, team captain Michael Morada. Serving there. Long, na talaga. You know, I've stopped counting. Oh, nga. Parang, parang it's odd for Petron to have so, so many service errors. Now we have Clemente for signal. Serving number two, Lunes Clemente. Nice serve. Yeah. Dakis just sends that one over. That one, off the hands of Dakis. Big for that. Yeah, smart move by Vivas. Nakita niya yung blockers niya. So, sige, off the block na lang niya. Ginawa mo sa amin kanina yun. Oo nga. Babawi kami. Gagawin ko rin sa inyo yan. Lima. Ay lamang pa rin ang Petron dito. Good serve by Clemente. They go outside. Dakis, blocked. They go to Manabat. She's done. Do they go for a quick play? Yes, they do. And Marani will find the campfire. Talagang, if you're going to dink that ball, target zone six. Kasi talagang laging botasyon. Zone six is the middle of the court. Here, as we watch it again. Kitang kita na dink yun. And. The coverage wasn't there for that. Kaya nga dapat basahin ang bola before it goes over the net. You know, for the benefit of the, the viewers, mas lalo na yung mga bagong volleyball aficionados, explain to them the different zones that you keep talking about. Okay, zone one is the zone nearest to the service area. Uh -oh. If you're facing the net, that's right back. Zone two is right front, and then zone three is the middle front. Zone four is left front. Zone five is back left. And then uh, zone six, of course, is the middle. At yun, no, kung nakita nyo nga yung replay ng no huling beses, dun nga bumagsak yung bola kanina ng Petron, kaya nakakuha nga sila ng panalo. Alam mo kung bakit laging butas yun? Because all the players are watching out for the corners. Kasi chances are, if they're going to hit that ball hard, sa corners pupunta yun eh. Mas madaling to go forward than move backward. That's Volleyball 101 for all of you. And right now, sinasabi ng Petron, we are going to show you how we play volleyball. At lamang na sila rito. 22-16. Three points away from tying things up here. Let's look at this replay again with Manabat getting that point. You know, nandun naman si Tunay eh. Kaya lang, ang bilis ng bola ni Manabat. Including me. <laughs> Including you. Yeah. What's your height? I'm only six. Only? See? And she's above six, as you can see. Four reception that time. And two points away from tying things up, Ang Kupanana Petron. You know, to be able to move faster, Signal has to stay on their toes. It's, ano, dun yung jump mo in. That's where you're gonna get it. So, stay on your toes, never stay flat on the floor. Rachel Antak is now serving para sa Petron. Gets that one in and gets an ace. At kita mo tulad Petron talaga all business sila. Yeah, and you know, itong si Dakis ever since college, and tawag sa kanya remote control because she can put the ball wherever she wants to put the ball. So ito the targetin ng niya. Sino ba ang mahina dito na magreceive ng ball? And that's where the ball's gonna go. She's not gonna give it to Jack Janela for sure. Well, a while ago she targeted zone six. At nandun si Mela Tunay. Well, at that time, tinarget niya si Jack Janela. Sinubukan niya. Siguro sabi niya, baka may mga mabigla siya. Oo nga. <laughs> Quick set. Let's keep alive. Chance once again here for Petron. They go outside. 
Janela's there. Navarro tries to score. Up the middle. And Dindin Santiago Manabat scores. And we are tied at one set apiece. Petron taking the second set, 25-16. Watch this piece of action. Who else do you go to? Eddie Dunset, tallest player, strongest player, Dindin Manabat. She delivers. And tabla na tayo dito sa Alontes Sports Arena.